let's talk about the difference between individual patterns, group patterns, and humanity patterns. Those patterns that are so shared by all of us that they actually are universal. Because in the book, I talk about how it's all patterns. Everything that we do is the result of a pattern. Everything we feel, everything we believe, always has a pattern that runs under it. But some of those patterns didn't originate with you. Some of those patterns originated in the culture or in the group, and you took them on as being your own, okay? So what, what's the difference between an individual pattern, a group pattern, and a universal pattern? Well, the difference is, is they're more shared. So the further out on these concentric rings we go, the more we share the same pattern. And when you get way out here on the, on the edges, it is so shared that these are almost invisible because the more shared they become, the less we relate to it as pattern, and the more we say that is innate to humanity. So that's important to know because as we start playing with repatterning, you're gonna to start to see that a lot of what we've been taught about what a human being is, is actually a myth. It actually is, is not true. And you're gonna to start to expand and surprise yourself in all the different things that you're doing, which you didn't think that there was even, you were even capable of. Now I'm not talking woo woo here, I'm not talking anything like that. I am talking just what you will do in the world, the actions you will take. So the cultural patterns though, these are really interesting because a lot of them limit us, particularly money. And I'm gonna talk about money in a future video. But money is a cultural pattern, which if we buy it, if we buy into it and believe that there is some truth to this money cultural pattern, it will limit how much money you can earn. And that's really important to know. So what I'd like you to do today is I want you to write down all your beliefs about money. If I say the word money, what comes to mind for you? What do you think? And then see which ones of those are limiting you and deconstruct them. Because that cultural pattern, you need to own it as if it's your pattern. Even though it's a cultural pattern, even though it didn't originate with you, treat it as an individual pattern and you will be back in power. You will be in control. You will feel more powerful around money. All right, and I'll touch you next time.